Hello everybody, welcome to Bastion. Bastion is by far one of my favorite games ever since it came out in uh, 2011. It was one of the first games that I bought on Xbox Live when I got my Xbox 360 for the first time. And I'd like to share this experience with you. Now before we get started, I'd like to show you that I am going to keep the subtitles on. Because a lot of the narration in the game is active narration and I don't want you guys to miss anything. So if I happen to be talking while someone is is you know talking, then I don't want to interrupt the dialogue at all. So the way I'm doing it is just by leaving the subtitles on. We should be good. Um, I have played through the game before, so that's why you see New Game Plus here. Uh, but I'm just going to start a new normal go mode game, and we're going to get right on into it. Proper store is supposed to start at the beginning. Ain't so simple with this one. Now here's a kid whose whole world got all twisted, leaving him stranded on a rock in the sky. He gets up, sets off for the bastion, where everyone agreed to go in case of trouble. So the first thing you're gonna notice is that I only have eight degree or eight different movement uh, directions. Uh, that's because this game was actually intended for Xbox 360 before it even came to PC. But that, but this game is the definition of a good port onto PC. So, ground forms up under his feet as it point in the way. He don't stop to wonder why. Finds his lifelong friend just lying in the road. Well, it's a touching reunion. So now we have the sail hammer, which acts as much as you probably assume it would. He sees what's left of the rippling walls. Years of work undone in an instant. In the calamity. <laughs> We've already found a glitch there. Let's not worry about that. That a survivor? No, ma'am. It's a gas fella, forced out from underground. So as you can see, all the combat good. is uh, top Starts down. Starts to feel his bruises, though. I don't remember getting An hit. old repeater falls out of the sky. Ain't a gift from the gods, but it'll have to do. Gotta hold her still to spin up the chamber. So as you can see, a lot of the narration is active. Uh, which is actually prob probably going to make for some hard commentary, but I hope that I don't have way too much trouble. Kids worked up quite a thirst by now, so that fountain looks real inviting. Sometimes you just need a drink. So what you can do is you can heal using these healing tonics that you got up here, and then you can also use uh, these healing tonics A school here. of squirts tunnels up around them. Must have fled here from the mines. Now... These squirts, the gas fellows that we encountered earlier that had the pickaxes, uh, all of them are from the same race, which are the gas fella race. Um, all, all of the, uh, all of the naming in this game is a little bit strange, but I, I honestly really like how they name some of the stuff. Kid finds a memento from a girl he knew. Always used to fancier. Now we're entering a saloon. Wonder what could he happen He sets here. foot inside one of Selandia's famous watering holes. Inside's old Rondi, the bartender. The calamity got him for his drinking did. So we found the bartender. Apparently he had a drinking problem before Then the Kid finds his trusty shield. I just killed Rondi. Well, he was already dead, but... We're not gonna... But just as he's getting a handle on it, the security takes him for a petty thief. Excuse me, sir, I am not... Clay, shield saves his eye. One of the things you can do in this game is uh, if you block at the right time with your shield, then you can completely... Windbags start turning uh, up for the last call. And attack back at a gas feller or a security bot or something. show you with this guy here. Oh, I did not do that right. Like that. 
creates a counter. More squirts start coming out of the woodwork. If you collect a health potion or a healing a tonic, a big old like, fella pops out in front of the kid. When all of yours are full, then windbags oh, are playing for nice. keeps. If you collect them while they're all full, then you'll just instantly use it for healing. You can't carry more than you can carry. Kid sees the weight of the bastion out the window. It's a bit of a drop. Let's get all of these fragments of the old world, which are these little charm things that you can see popping up. There's a hookah there. He gets a good look at things on his way down. He lands on top of a breaker's bow, and it ain't broke. So now, we can only carry two weapons at a time, so this is going to replace our repeater. Kid spies a good perch for some target practice. He now, knows he should draw the string all the way back. The way this bow works is when the kid glows. Wasn't long before the kid could loose an arrow, that flash, strong and true. Then, uh, that's a critical hit. The kid pockets a memento item. from a breaker. Once the fastest man in the land. Something stringy, uh, something heavy, those are all upgrade items. As you can tell, I'm a little bit out of practice. With the Good whole news is the timing. emergency defenses still work. Bad news is the aiming for the kid. I'm much better using the shields. Because you can time that accordingly. Okay, I didn't time that one accordingly. Or that one, actually. Come on. Ah, oh, I'm really bad at this. <laughs> you know what? See? I got the timing on that one. Maybe it's just... Picks up a few pointers from a dusty old tome. So you use Q to use your special abilities that you pick up along the way. Black tonics are used when you use them. Which are these things right here. For an example, He's that was a mighty fast life. learner. go. He finds the distillery right next to the arsenal. Tough part of town. Beautiful placement. One sip of the spirits in that distillery and the kid will feel like a new man. All right, so these spirits are different upgrades for the kid. Um, so Squirt Cider is 10 max health. Dread Rum is plus 10% critical hit chance. Um, it's only active when at full health. Uh, and then fetching fizz is you absorb stray fra fragments from far away. Um, from my experience, these two don't really matter because you're almost never at full health. And this doesn't matter at all because 10 health is nothing. So I'm going to get fetching fizz since uh, the fragments of the old world are incredibly important in the future. The arsenals where the kid can pick the best tools for the job. The funny thing is, we actually start with three different uh, abilities, but only Whirlwind was available to us when we picked it up. Um, Dancing Shot uh, causes an arrow to bounce from target to car target. Whirlwind we saw earlier, you spin in a circle with the, the, the uh, Sail Hammer, and then the Bolt Burst is uh, it's a, a volley of bolts that deals damage in every direction. Um, in my experience, I've ne I never use Whirlwind. I, it's much easier just to do all the stuff yourself. I might try out Dancing Shot. I've never tried that out in my times playing this. And I'm going to stay with the current loadout because I like it. Let's get some more of those fragments of the old world. Now you can also see that these arrows actually uh, penetrate enemies, which is incredibly useful if, <laughs> if I can actually hit an enemy. Some of them squirts birthing like crazy in a couple of corn bins. I'm assuming that's popcorn, not just regular corn. That would make an incredibly, in my opinion, an incredibly stupid uh, circus or fair snack. How would you even fit that in a bag? Well, it's not even a matter of fitting, it's a matter of containing it well. 
I don't think you can put like creamed corn in a paper bag. I don't think that works incredibly well. An old ferry barge sends the kid on me, his sir. way. Excuse me, sir. I am using this barge. The bastion's real close now. Ow. Ow. I'm really bad at this. There. Got that one. Oh. oh. You are windbags. You're not just crates. They like to hide in crates. Like to hide on the other side of the walls, apparently. Get out of here. Let's get it on. Kid takes a chunk of alloy, smell of barley, and spoiled blueberries fills the air. Scumbags. As you can see, all of Kid these. Kid maybe shouldn't have done what he just did. <laughs> all of these names are reminiscent of things in, uh, you know, the outside world. Scumbags. Squirts, windbags. They're all, a lot of them are just insert insults when it comes to enemies. Various insults, that is. So maybe we should try out our, uh. Oh, our new ability works incredibly well. Rob's a scumbag of his last meal. Kid puts him out of his misery. So all these pieces of the old world just rain down from the sky after the battle's done. So that was... They don't say it, but I'm assuming that's what's supposed to be a boss battle in this game. I mean, it's exciting, and it happens several times. Sometimes it's waves of enemies, sometimes it's just a really big enemy. Uh, and they, all of the big bosses have stories behind them. He finds the core to the Wharf District. Okay, these cores are the main objective of every level. He steals the city's heart. Might as well. And everything starts falling. At this point, we're not worried about... You better get a move on. The place is starting to fall. We're not too worried about getting, getting a good score at this point. We're just worried about getting out. Because we can actually fall off of these platforms. He just keeps running. An invisible wall. Somersault like crazy. Ow. Bitch. As you can see, the platforms are falling behind us. At last, the skyway is in close. sight. And there's the skyway, which is our exit. Whisks him where it needs to go. And we land in the bastion. Now the kid sees something stranger still. His mind races. Did anybody else survive? Sure enough, he finds another. He finds me. So, strangely enough, this is the narrator of the entire thing, not the kid. In the, like, you'd assume that at the very beginning of the game that it's the kid uh, explaining a story or just an omniscient character, but it's in fact this We stranger. talk for a spell. There's a bit of the Bastion's power in that crest, enough to point the way to the cores. So as you can see, all the little items that you pick up, all of them have... Uh, little stories behind them. I try to let the kid down gently. This is the Bastion, all right. Except no one else showed up. So that's the deal with the whole game, is you are two of the last survivors uh, that made it out of this horrible event called the Calamity, which destroyed the world around you. All I tell him is to set that core is on the monument there, then watch. Now, the cores contain information of the past. So if we insert this... And just like that, the Bastion comes alive. Starts growing again. Growing stronger. Kid's gotta put its power to good use. Now the Bastion can send him even farther into the wild unknown. Sure enough, when we insert the core, the Bastion becomes a little bit larger. It starts to remember the past, basically, is what they're trying to get at. Kid ponders what to build. So, these foundations, these ones right here, uh, you can see the empty ones up there we can't use yet. We can build buildings on top. Distilleries, are your, if you remember, are the ones where you get upgrades. Arsenals are where you get 
uh, your weaponry. Uh, personally, I think that the distillery is the most important thing right now. We'll get the arsenal next time. Makes time to sample spirits from my personal supply. So now we've got all of these spirits, which are all different, uh, all different upgrades. Uh, Hardy Punch, one chance to carry on a defeated, which is ex which is an extra life. Uh, damage surrounding foes if defeated, so there's a there's a, a Nova effect if you've ever played Borderlands. Uh, Wear Whiskey, plus 100% critical hit chance, only active when below 33% health, which might be useful because we've spent a lot of time at very low health recently. And then plus 33% speed while defending, probably not the most important thing since we only defend for a moment uh, to get the counter attack. Um, I'm thinking Hardy Punch, because we might need a little bit of that Nova damage if we actually get defeated. Because if we get defeated, it's not one enemy, it's an overwhelming Hardy amount. Hardy Punch is so zesty, it'll let you carry on through the worst of times. All right, Kids so don't know what's out there waiting for. Let's use the Skyway, and we'll go into our map screen. The Skyway. Now the kid can ride the wind to distant lands. So this is the Bastion. We were just at the Wharf District, which is where we were. We were also on the Rippling Walls, which is where that was. Um, so we have we have uh, a couple options here. We can either go to the Workman Ward, which is a new area where we can get another core, or we can go to a Proving Ground, which we can get rewards for proving our worth with the Breaker's Bow in this particular case. There's also one for Sail Hammer. There's one for each, each weapon in the game. So... Uh, what we're gonna do now is we're gonna... Why don't I show you the Proving Ground? We're probably not gonna be able to get very far in it, but I might as well show it to you. The Breakers used to come here for target practice. Used to play a little game. See who could bust the most targets in the fewest shots. So this is the deal. He's focused. He's armed. And he's off fire the least amount of shots possible. So, let's figure this one out. Oh, I already screwed up. The perfect shot just happens in a flash. I think the minimum we want to hit is four. And we're gonna hit six, I think. Ah, uh, seven. Oh, no, I missed one completely. It puts on the right solid performance. Uh, first prize, it'll tell us what the first prize is here in a moment. Five shots or fewer, okay. So we got something stringy, which is an upgrade, and then something fancy, which is an upgrade for a weapon we don't have yet. And we can still use this weapon as much as we want while we're here, but... There's really no point because there's nothing else to do here. Uh, we can't use the sail hammer and we can't use any of our abilities. So, we'll come back to this later. Maybe next episode. He returns with some of the materials we need. Every time you leave an area, you come back to the bastion. Alright. So I guess it's time that we uh, head into the Workman Ward.